Hello, my name is Ger Shortle. I work with Chagas at Johnston Castle in County Wexford. I'm currently working on the Agricultural Catchments Programme, which is designed to evaluate the impact of the measures in the Nitrates Action Programme and to help farmers to farm sustainably while minimising damage to the environment. The Agricultural Catchments Programme is run in partnership with about 300 farmers across six sites in Ireland. We're working with these farmers to minimise the impact that they're having on the environment while maximising the efficiency with which they use nutrients on their farms. We work in six small river catchments spread across the country. Each of these catchments represents a particular scenario in farming in terms of farm type, soil type, stocking intensity and so on. By using these six catchments we would hope to investigate and represent the various scenarios that farmers might find themselves in reality. The main aim of the Agricultural Catchment Programme is to support profitable farming while protecting water quality. We do this by evaluating the measures within the National Action Programme and monitoring nutrient use on farms, in the soils on the farms and measuring potential losses to water. We also monitor farmer attitudes and we do this by surveying farmers to find out exactly what their issues are as regards water quality and food production. The economic consequences of changing management on farms are very important and we have in place a financial management monitoring scheme to find out how much it costs farmers to implement the measures within the National Action Programme and also what the potential profitability of their farm enterprises are. The Agricultural Catchment Programme operates at six mini catchments around the country. These catchments are approximately a thousand hectares and are located two in the northeast, two in the southeast, one in the south and one in the west. In the northeast, we have a drumland catchment near Carrigma Cross, which represents drumland soils, which are heavy soils on steeply sloping sites mostly. In County Loud, we have a site near Dunlear, which represents tillage on heavier soils, typical of wheat production, but also grassland production. In Wexford, we have two sites, one on very light soils near Castle Dockerl, which represents typical spring barley production and where there's well-drained soils and potential for loss of nitrates, but also at Ballycanoe in County Wexford where the soils are heavier and grassland is the dominant land use. In County Cork we have our most intensively farmed site where stocking rates are very high and the main production is dairying. Almost all farms in this catchment are dairy farms and the potential is for nitrate loss through leaching. In the west of Ireland we have a site near Ballinrobe which is on karst fissured limestone bedrock. These are, are relatively shallow soils where the risk would be of leaching and nitrate loss directly to groundwater and possibly also phosphorus loss. Nutrients in water leaving the catchments are being measured at high resolution. This means that we're using state-of-the-art equipment sited at each catchment to monitor both the volume of water leaving the catchment but also the nitrogen and phosphorus content of that water. This gives us a very, very detailed picture of both the amount and the frequency with which nutrients are lost in the catchment. The important aspect of the programme is to work on nutrient use on farms with farmers and to ensure that we can get the best possible use and the best efficiency of use of the nutrients that they bring onto the farms. Those nutrients come in in the form of bag fertiliser or through feedstuffs. To do this we soil test all the farms and we generate a plan for each farm using a soil map. The map then shows the index, for example, on phosphorus shows an index from 1 to 4 and we colour code the index, so this for instance yellow is index 2, orange index 3 and so on. This helps the farmer to visualise what way his farm is as regards phosphorus usage and phosphorus concentrations on the, on the fields. Nutrients can be lost from the farm via a number of hydrological pathways. These are ways that water finds of getting from the farm into the local river or into the groundwater. For example, nitrate goes mainly through leaching from the soil, whereas phosphorus may be lost through overland flow or flowing off the top of the soil. We use data collected in boreholes to monitor what happens underneath the ground, and these are a series of wells positioned along uh, the farm uh, in the catchment to show us where water is moving, and we can test these to find out how much water and when it moves and what sort of nutrients are in it in these underground pathways. Through using all these various data sources, we can then help the farmer to minimise his losses of nutrients from the farm and to maximise the efficiency with which he uses the nutrients on his farm. If the programme succeeds in its objectives, we will be able to help Irish farmers to farm sustainably with minimum damage to the environment.